All right, so let's start in the middle of our mat, hands in Anjali Mudra, and just energetically, let's just jump our feet out as wide as feels good to us. So optimally, if you put your arms out, your wrist crease would line up with your ankle crease. And your right foot is going to be 90 degrees. Spin the back heel at 45. Gently put your hands on your hips and turn to the front wall. So this pose is kind of squared off, but you're keeping your sacrum nice and soft. Shoulders back, hands in namaste. Then on your inhale, bend that knee to warrior one. Roll your shoulders back, hug into the midline. Maybe take your head back in space just a little. Take a nice breath. Good, then take your right arm forward, left arm back. Make that foot adjustment in the back. Warrior two, you're looking right to the middle finger. Arms at the same plane. Look at your knee, make sure it's not going out to the big toe. Pinky toe side. Then from here, lower body stays where it is. And exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, come back. Let's do that again. Exhale, reverse the warrior. The breath is moving us. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, exhale into Parjvokanasana. Rest the forearm on the thigh. Take your right hand to your hip. Roll the left shoulder open in space. Left hip back, right hip down and tucked under. Look at that knee right over the ankle. And you can stay here or you can take your arm and reach it right to the front wall. Breathe in, find steadiness and ease here. Then as you inhale, come back to warrior two. Cartwheel the arms down, spin that foot, hands on the floor and gently step back to down dog. You can see those feet, hips distance apart. Plant those hands into the floor, lift the sit bones high and stretch. Then inhale high up on your toes, bend your knees, and float to the top of the mat. Exhale, Uttanasana. Take your arms out like airplane wings. Inhale, up. Hands to your heart center. So that's called Dancing Warrior.